All right, let's get straight into today's question. So today's question is about microRNAs, which are abbreviated miRNAs. These are small non-coding RNA molecules that base pair to mRNA molecules and ultimately inhibit the expression of mRNA. What aspect of the central dogma is being regulated by microRNAs? So this question is a really great example of what the MCAT does. You all may not know what microRNAs are, but you do know by the time you're taking the MCAT what the central dogma is. So in this case, the MCAT will actually ask you to apply the central dogma to something you don't know, in this case microRNAs, and this application is exactly the type of thing the MCAT loves doing and is being tested all the time. So before we can get to approaching the question, I just want to go over some general tips and um, ge not some tips, some general knowledge about microRNAs. Because microRNAs, believe it or not, in 2006, they won the Nobel Prize. The, the research done on microRNAs was the Nobel Prize winner for physiology and medicine in 2006 by Andrew Fire and uh, Craig Mello. Uh, the other thing is, these microRNAs are not actually that, that big. They're about 22 nucleotides long. Okay, I'm going to erase that because that looks bad. I'm gonna, I mean, most of this stuff looks bad, but uh, they're 22 nucleotides long. Okay. And the last thing I want you to know is that these microRNAs are in your genome. They're almost in genomes of almost all organisms. They were discovered in C. elegans, but you know that you have thousands of them in your genome. In in human genome, uh, you have thousands of microRNAs, and you might be wondering what's the point of that. Oh shoot! I, you might be wondering what's the point of that. Well, the point is that these microRNAs are actually going to inhibit multiple, multiple mRNAs, okay? They're going to inhibit multiple mRNAs. And you might be asking, what is the point of inhibiting mRNAs? Don't you want those mRNAs to make those proteins for you? Yes, but not all mRNAs need to be expressed. And inhibiting them is actually something that your body does so naturally you might not know. But you need to inhibit them because not all mRNAs can be good and not all mRNAs can be um, leading to uh, effective proteins. Some mRNAs ought to be inhibited. With that being said, if you don't have microRNAs, you can actually get diseases, okay? Uh, the dysregulation of microRNAs. Oh my goodness. The dysregulation of microRNAs leads to disease. All right, and some of these diseases actually include things like lymphoma. Okay, so I want you to know that these M microRNAs do exist in you, and they do have a critical function. With that being said, let's approach this question now. So if we now approach the second part of the question, the question is asking what aspect of the central dogma is being regulated by microRNAs. So for this, we need to actually know what the central dogma is. So the central dogma, if you don't already know, was a term given by Francis Crick, and it basically talks about how DNA goes to RNA, goes to protein, okay? And I didn't draw it, but this is the general flow of information. This DNA can also make more of itself. So this process of DNA making more of itself is called replication, and you probably learned about something called DNA replication, okay? The other thing is when DNA goes to RNA, that's done by transcription. That's the process of transcription. Uh, so let me erase this really quick. Uh, redraw that, and I'll do tran. Oh god. Transcription. Okay, and this RNA to protein is translation. And believe it or not, there's actually, this was the original central dogma, but today there's another thing added onto this. And that other thing is this process of RNA to DNA. You can actually go from RNA to DNA today. All right. And that RNA to DNA process is called reverse transcription. And some of you may know this from HIV because HIV has a, has a RNA genome but then it reverse transcribes it to go back to DNA. So this is the general gist of the central dogma that we have today, okay? So now, remember, the question is essentially asking, what part of the central dogma is being regulated by microRNAs? So let's make sure we understand how microRNAs work. MicroRNAs, I'm gonna draw, microRNAs in this picture are gonna be red, okay? 
And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make RNAs orange. So let's say we have this RNA, and we know that RNA encodes. Actually, RNA is very broad. I'm going to say my uh, mRNA. Right? mRNA. Okay. And we know that microRNAs actually base pair. Remember, if we go back to that question, uh, the beginning of the question, we know microRNAs, which are about 22 nucleotides in length, base pair to the mRNA and actually prevent the mRNA from being expressed. So, in this case, if the mRNA can't be, if the mRNA is actually literally, if we see base pairs, I'm going to draw them in yellow here. Why don't you move? Okay. Okay, this is a base pair, there's a base, there, um, these, these yellows are hydrogen bonds between the base pairs. So, if the microRNA can't leave, uh, this mRNA, the mRNA cannot be expressed. Okay, so if the mRNA cannot be expressed, the microRNA prevents mRNA from being translated. Right? Because if it's being base paired to this microRNA, there's no way a ribosome can come along and translate this mRNA because the ribosome is used to translating single-stranded mRNA. Okay? And if this microRNA is around, you can't actually translate the mRNA. And because of that, the answer to this question, if we go all the way back, the answer to this question is that microRNAs actually regulate translation. Okay? Translation. Because if this microRNA is bound to this mRNA, right here, this microRNA is bound to this mRNA, then there's no way the mRNA can be translated, right? And because of that, translation is what's being regulated here. So the overall answer in this question is um, microRNAs regulate translation. And that's that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me finish up writing. Uh, and I hope you learned something from it. Give it a big thumbs up and let me know if you have any questions. All right, see you in the next one.